Hello friends, this is Gökçe from cgk.com and today we are going to learn a little bit more about this edit spline tool. Uh, I want to show you uh, some last uh, comments uh, under edit spline and we have a couple more theoretical lessons and then we are going to learn about extrude and bevel and lathe, uh, some useful tools to create uh, 3D shapes from or 3D volumes from 2D shapes. So let's start uh, with this lesson. Uh, I'm going to just create a rectangle and then a circle and let's attach these together. This time I'm going to use the uh, modifier, the edit spline modifier. You'll see that nothing will change. And let's attach these two together. And then let's go down again. And here we have some uh, more useful tools like height, unheight. I want to show you divide. Uh, this, this one I use uh, a lot. And close and explode tools okay we are going to learn about these three tools uh, today now if i hit three and select uh, a spline one of these and click on hide you will see that it will hide the selected spline if i unhide uh, click on unhide all you will see that it will bring that back and let's try this with a segment selection I i'm going to hit two and select the segment in here and i'm going to just hide again you can see that we can also hide uh, the segments and again unhide to unhide them. And let's try this with the vertex. With the vertex, I'm going to select a vertex and then click on hide. And you can see that it hides the vertex and the connected segments. And if I hit unhide all, again, you will see that it will unhide everything. Okay. This is the first tool I wanted to show you. Uh, if I hit two, you will see that the divide tool is activated. What this does is you will select a segment. Uh, it can be any segment, uh, something like this, curved uh, like this. And you can just change the divide uh, number, division number. And if I hit divide, you will see that it will uh, put equal spacing vertices through that segment. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four new vertices, five new segments in here uh, because we input four as the division number. Okay. So you can see that it, uh, these are separate segments now. You can play with them. You can select the vertex and play with it as well. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try to go to uh, hit two, go to the segment mode and let's uh, delete one of these segments. And I want to show you the close uh, option in here, close uh, command. If I select a spline and hit close, it will close that segma, uh, segment uh, or spline, sorry. It will draw a segment from its first vertex to its last vertex, th that way it will close the whole thing, whole spline, okay? If I delete this, select this and hit close, you'll see that it will do the same thing in here as well, okay? Uh, this was a straight segment and this was a curved segment. The reason is these vertices are, as you can see, Bezier uh, vertices and uh, so that it will um, join this or close this spline like this. If I convert this to a corner, for example, you will see a difference. Okay, it would be straight if both of these were corners. Okay, so this is how close works. And as the last tool I want to show you today, it's the explode tool or command, let's say. If I hit this, you will, I, I'm sure you guessed, but it will explode all the segments to separate splines. And you can see that they are all broken. Uh, there was a tool called break. Uh, if you remember, you, you, we would select a valid vertice and it will break it into two vertices. This does, uh, this tool does it for all the vertices in the spline. Okay. And you can explode a spline like this. Okay. As you can see, there are a lot of different, uh, tools in here. Uh, I, I wanted to show you the ones that I use, uh, more frequently but you can just go ahead and tinker with these i i'm sure i uh or maybe i try to explain you how these work uh, uh, you can just uh, choose different tools under different sub tools so uh, you can just for example um, let's see that bind is not active but if i just go to the vertex tool you will see that the bind tool is active so you can just try to try and see for yourself uh, which one will work for you and also please watch different tutorials from different uh, teachers or different people uh, that way maybe some of the people use uh, other tools 
more than I do, so you can have different ideas from them as well. Okay, thanks for listening. If you find this uh, video useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You can support us on Patreon or YouTube. Uh, you can hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, so see you in the next lesson.